All relays and contactors have one thing in common, they have one coil that needs to be powered. And to power that, you'll need to put the supply across that coil. So let's wire this 12 volt relay and see if we can power that up. So to wire the 12 volt relay, I'll go from positive of the supply to the positive of the relay coil, negative of the supply to the negative of the relay coil. To check if it works or not, let's turn it on and see what happens to this coil. You see how when I turn it on, the coil pulls the contact in and when I let it go, it releases it. There's a spring here that creates the tension which keeps it up there. But as soon as I turn this on, that coil energizes and pulls that contact towards itself, extending the spring, which means when I let this go, that spring does its job and pulls it back up. Let's look at the pull in voltage of this relay. I'm going to drop the voltage down to seven volts and I'm going to take recordings. At seven volts, it doesn't work. If I increase the voltage, let's see what happens. I'll increase the voltage to 7.5. Still doesn't work. Let's try and increase to eight. Aha. So at 7.7 .7 volts, my open relay coil is energized, right? Now the data sheet said 80%. Uh, which was around 9.6 volts. But as you can see in this case, the practicality is slightly different. I hope all this made sense. If you found this video useful, please like it. And if you want regular updates of my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.